Oh, so he's ready for his close up. Bless this little creature. So, hello, hello, hello. Well, today I'd like to take a look at this, which is, as it says, again, from Phil Comics. Um, fantastic. Thank you very much, Phil, sir. Very much appreciated doing business with you. Uh, very, very pleasant chap. Um, has a wonderful um, comic emporium. And that's his uh, information there. Massive shout out to you. Um, and this is Warlord Comic. Something got my false teeth. Warlord Comic, issue number one. So, when I was a kid, I had the Warlord Comic. And you can see by the date there, September the 28th, 1974, every Thursday, for five pence. So my dear old dad used to spend 5p on me every Thursday. It says gift at shop, so obviously this was the free gift that was the eight golden replica medals so let's have a look inside and see what we've got so we've got um action all the way with warlord and um yeah i i love this comic i must say um wonderful stuff and that's lord peter flint the coward who was britain's top wartime secret agent <laughs> and here the characters are into the battle against the Japs. I mean, it's, it's totally politically incorrect, obviously, because it's, um, it's 1974. Um, nowadays, you have to say, into the battle against Japanese people, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Union Jack Jackson, you know. And I used to love the uh, the text, you know. <laughs> I best not read any out until I'll probably get arrested. They'll probably, they'll, def they'll most definitely block my channel if, if I start reading this comic, that's a fact. I get blocked for the most incredible nothings. You know, I, in fact, I made a mistake. I, I said that I was blocked for humiliation and bullying or something. <laughs> Actually, it's not that. I keep getting blocked for, because uh, I, I don't conform to community guidelines. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a surprise. What a shocker. <laughs> so, war in the air with Britain's ace pilot, Bomber Braddock. I mean, it's really good, isn't it? This is all good stuff, baby. It's all good. Bomber Braddock, another politically correct character. <laughs> the Toffee Apple Tank Busters. Uh, okay, um, good. All good, baby. Weapons in action. The Sticky Bomb. Sticky Toffee Bomb, I presume it is, isn't it? But, uh, it's great to see this again, I must say. I, I, it wasn't without cost, I must add. <coughs> but very reasonable. And I must say that Phil Comics are very, 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 very easy to do business with because Phil is such a decent chap and, and, a, and a, a massive hats off to him. So there you go, there's every letter. You had all these different things that you could do. You could write to Warlord and win a transistor radio. Ah, it's all good, baby. Wingless Wonder, the flyers who fly on the sea. So there's all these different characters. I, I vaguely remember some of them. I remember Lord Peter Flint. Yeah, that was very m m most amusing. Code name Warlord. How Lord Peter Flint became Britain's top wartime secret agent. So here he is, and he had all these funny phrases like "pip tip old fruit." <laughs> Who's that? He's been shot. Really, really, really amusing, highly amusing. In fact, we used to quote the phrases when we were at school. And when we were when we were at school, we used to sort of throw a chair at someone and say, "Take a seat," you know, all this sort of thing. <laughs> in 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 a sort of recognition of watching the, of reading these comics. How bizarre, but very funny. No, there you go. All that shooting and fighting. No, not for me, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No, that's superb. The sign of cowardice. So this is nine pages of, of Lord Peter Tittle. So I'll have to use the back entrance. <laughs> God. Hilarious. Made it. Now to get out of here fast. Yeah, it's brilliant though. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really funny. I mean, hugely, hugely amusing to look back on this thing. Next week, Flint tackles a German fortress single-handed. 
I mean, there was nothing that this man couldn't do, you know. And there was also, it was interesting, because he had like these sort of interesting bits of World War II history, like fighting planes of World War II, stuff like that, you know, the Handy Page Halifax, the Hawker Typhoon. They were unbiased, they had the Junkers 87, and the Heinkel, uh, bombing at HE111, you know. No, it wasn't called blah, 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 but that was, I made that bit up, but never mind. The Boyhood of the Wolf of Kabul. Young Wolf. God, seize that ruffian. Samson. So, no doubt more politically incorrect things coming on. I'll knock his head off. Next, next week, ambush in the Kuiper Pass. <laughs> I mean... Don't go cockney rhyming slang on that one. Because <laughs> that means something completely different <laughs> from where I come from in Watford. The Kyber Pass was something else. <laughs> Spider Wells, action and adventure in the First World War. There you go. Brilliant. He's even got the flat hat, look. Superb Spider Wells. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic. And, uh, well, there you go. See, so look what you get next week. Another 16 replica medals to complete your collection. Whew, wonderful. Now, I was, I was excited when I was a kid to read this magazine. Anyway, I hope you found this of some interest and it's not so boring because it's just, it's my, it's, it's a sort of trip down old memory lane for me. But um, I'll leave you on the, uh, he's snoozing, isn't he? He's, he's off, he's off having a kip it is, this dicky dog. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and thanks, Phil, for, for, for sending the comic in such great condition. Really appreciate that, mate, as well. Wonderful. Big shout out to Phil Comics. All the very best wishes. Cheers.